It was an icy, icy, icy morning, and it was very cold, and I remember being the one charged to run into the house first, and then use a walkie-talkie, as they were called at the time, and call out to the ambulance and tell them what to bring in. I, I went into the house, and I looked to the left, and this man's wife was saying, he's in the back, he's in the back. And I went back to the bedroom, and I looked in the bedroom, and there was a man in a bed. There were a bunch of medicine bottles on his nightstand. And I touched him, and he was cold. He was one of the first dead people I'd ever seen. And I picked up the walkie-talkie, and I called out to the ambulance, and I said, go slow. Because I knew at that point, we weren't really supposed to resuscitate this guy, that there was no one to resuscitate. And I looked at one of the older guys and he said, so what do you think we should do? And I said, well, he's, he's dead. There's really nothing we can do, right? And he said, well, maybe we should take him to the hospital. I said, well, we don't really, we're not really in the business of taking dead people to the hospital. And he said, well, what time is it? I said, it's about 3.45 in the morning. He said, what time do you think the coroner comes in? I said, nine? Something like that. He said, what's his wife going to do? And I said, well, we're not really supposed to do this. It's not the rules. And he said, it's okay. He put an oxygen mask on this guy. And I thought, that's a little strange. And we carried him out of the house. We brought him to the local emergency room. And... And when we got to the emergency room, I apologized to the emergency room physician and I said, you know, we're sorry about this, but he was there at home and she was alone and she clearly thought there was something to be done and I'm not sure what we should do. And, and uh, he said, you did the right thing. I'm used to telling people about this and I can, I can do it as well as it can be done. So thank you for taking care of him. So I, I, I reflect on that moment and think, do you follow the rules and do what you're supposed to do? And how did wisdom play a role in what the right thing to do was in this situation? And when I go back and I think, when did I start thinking about not just the medical aspects, but the ethical aspects? It probably draws to some time about that, that period of my, my life.